What's going on guys? Rayte47 here. Hopefully you can hear me alright. Um, so this is going to be a little life story on about how I almost died. Sorry, my hair is a mess right now. Jeez. Anyways, this is a life story on how I almost died. So we'll get into it. Me and this kid, back when I was 15, 16, I don't quite remember the age. It's been so long. I'm 22 now. Um... We had a little trouble, a little squash and a little beef, you know. And I was always a smaller kid, and this kid was a bigger kid. But me being the smaller kid, I had an ego problem, and I had a problem with just not caring about life or anything like that when I was a kid. Um, and I, I, I was always down to fight someone. Like I was just an angry kid. Um, so he said, let's one-on-one -on -one fight. Let's battle. And I was like, okay, sounds good. You know, being an angry kid, I'm just like, cool, a fight, yeah. I get off the bus and I walk home, right? So as soon as I walk home, I see about 10 to 15 kids uh, my age. Some are older, but they're all bigger than me, like way, way bigger than me. Um, they're at my house, and I walked up to the kid and I said, so why are these people here? You know, I was already confused. And he said, he said, oh, they're here to watch, nothing more, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, well, I don't live here because I already had a feeling in my mind that something bad was going to happen. It was just like a gut instinct feeling. Um, so I said, all right, let's go to the park, let's handle our business, and then after we can hang out and we will respectfully just chill with each other because we got in a fight and we just want to respect each other. He said, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, sounds great, you know, with all these people. And I was already having a feeling that, no, something's going to happen. Something horrible's going to happen. And something did happen. Um, so as we're walking through the park talking, um, I just remember uh, hearing him say, oh, hold on. I got to grab something out of my backpack. So I'm like, okay, no problem. Um, and as I'm walking uh, down the park in the little park area, uh, the kid ran up behind me, grabbed me by my neck like this, and choke slammed me on the ground. And I felt my whole spine and my neck pop. And I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's because the sheer force of the kid slamming me on the ground or what it was. But it hurt really bad. Like my whole back and everything hurt super, super bad. And it was horrible. Um, but as he was on top of me, uh, he kept hitting my face, kept hitting uh, me because he was holding me like this, just hitting me like this. And I didn't know what to do, and I got really angry, and I elbowed him without realizing it, elbowed him in the nose, and he started freaking out, uh, yelling my nose, my nose is hurting bad, blah, 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 and he got off me for a second, and when he did, I figured it was on, so I just got on top of him and just started pummeling his face as hard as I could, like just pummeling, 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 and then that's when his friend uh, pushed me off of him, and then his friend uh, got, I was on the ground when, when I was pummeling him. His friend pushed me off of him and I fell backwards on the ground. And that's when he started going boom, boom, boom right into my face. And I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was God or what. But I, I just instinctively, when he was doing this, I grabbed around his arms, like around like this. And like over his neck area kind of. And I grabbed him like that and held him. And I pushed him over, and he rolled, and I, I was able to roll on top of him, and I was doing the same thing. But the thing is, at this time, I'm like, okay, I already got a lot of people on me, and I got a lot of issues. I don't know who's trying to hurt me. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. I, this all was running through my mind. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? How many people are there who's actually trying to fight me? Who's here just to watch the fight? Who I didn't know because there was already somebody else jumping in. So I instinctively got up and started running as fast as I could. Like I just started running and I was screaming. I was like, somebody help me. Somebody call the cops. Somebody do something. These people are trying to hurt me. I was like, help, 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 help. And I, there was no one around at that park. There was only like maybe one or two people. So I'm just screaming at the top of my lungs. Help me, please. Somebody do something. Call the cops something. I'm, they're trying to hurt me. They're trying Because they were. Um, and then I heard a kid saying, get that mf -er. And I was like, oh, Lord, this is bad. This, <laughs> this is really, really bad. What do I do? And I, I, as I'm running, I felt this kid uh, just punch me in the back of my head. 
like back here, over and over again, just doom, 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 punching me in the back of the head. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw a shadow of him. And I was like, this is my chance. So I turned around and I just hooked him right in the jaw, right here. And he went lights out. Like he just, he went ding, like he fell down. And then as soon as that happened, I looked and this other kid grabbed, went to run at me and slam me, like grab me by my hips and slam me. But when he did that, I, I just, I literally like, this ain't a joke, this actually happened. Um, but I grabbed his head and I, I hit it with my knee. Like I literally just grabbed his head as he was running at me like full force, like a bull. And I went boom, right on my knee. And he dropped to the ground too. And so I started running again, and I was like trying to get out of there. I was like, I got four people. How is this possible? How, how who's who else is trying to hurt me? And I kept running and screaming the same thing. I was like, help, please help me. Like I was scared, bro. I was like, who's this is? I was, I'm sorry, sorry. I gotta calm down. I was really, I was really terrified. <laughs> And I didn't know what to do, so I'm just running, 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 running. And I didn't see, like, I don't know where this kid came out of, I, but I know he came out of the bushes because as I'm running, all I see is this big, long metal pipe, and it just slammed me right in my ribs right here. And it broke all these ribs. That's why I got an indenture on my chest. I don't know if you can really tell, but this, this whole side, I broke all of these ribs from up here all the way down. He did not break my collarbone, which was thankful, but he did break my ribs sitting on top of my lung right here. And then he, and then I just remember everything going in and out of blackness. And I, he was like, he kept hitting me, bro. He just kept hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. And the thing is, I was in and out of consciousness. Sorry. I was in and out of consciousness, right? And he, um, I was on the ground and um, I remember getting up, like looking up at the sky and looking around me going, going, what, what's going on, you know, trying to figure out what, what to do next. And then all I see is the same kid with this metal pole and he just rear cocked and hit me right here in my head. And, and literally I felt my skull just, I just felt something go like really loud. And it was like from here all the way up here, he hit me. And then he hit me in the back of the head, and then I went out again. And then I, I remember coming in and out of consciousness, dude. And I'm looking up as I'm coming in and out of blackness. I'm looking up, and I just see kids just pummeling me from all the way around. Like, all the way around. Like, multiple people. I didn't know how many there was. And all I felt was just pain throughout my body. Like, my body just was aching of pain and I was screaming somebody help somebody do something and I I felt like I was going to die and and then I eventually blacked out and then I woke up and I had this girl over me and she's like oh my god are you okay she was like freaking out she's like going help are you okay are you okay somebody call some, the ambulance somebody do something and I was being a stupid kid and I had so much pain and so much numbness throughout my body that I I said, I'll be fine. I, I went home, right? And this is, this is the problem. Don't, if you get injured, don't go home, go to a hospital. I'm telling you to go to a hospital because that's, that's gonna help you. Like, don't think you're a tough person. So not going to the hospital, go straight to the hospital. Like go straight there because I didn't go. I didn't go for years, dude. And I know I broke these ribs because it was all black and blue. I couldn't breathe. I know I broke up here somewhere because it, it kept swelling and then going down and swelling. And then I, and then it, I kept feeling it crackle like as I was like biting down on food or what was going on when I eventually did end up eating. Because I went home and my mom was like, are you okay? Do we need to call someone? And I was like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, just saying I'm okay. Just saying I'm okay. I went to my room and I said, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep. I feel tired. Don't go to sleep if you got a brain injury, dude. I went to sleep for three days straight. And I woke up. And my whole life was just a blur. Just a blur for six months. I, I didn't eat nothing. It was just a blur. Like everything was just like, I was like, whoa, uh, it was just a blur. And the thing is, 
after that whole incident, dude, I've had multiple seizures. I've had multiple breathing issues. And I've had multiple, multiple speech impediment issues where I can barely talk, where I can barely say certain words. And it's, it's really destroyed my life, dude. It ha I become, I'm trying to become successful, but it's hard when your memory is blurry, when you can't remember nothing, when you can't speak right. When it's just really hard. Um, and the seizures have slowed down. Like, well, I don't even have a seizure that much. Back when I, it happened, I'm 22 now. I remember, I was like 15, 16. Back when it happened, I was having multiple seizures. I was having a seizure a week, basically, uh, for years on years on years. I broke my nose. I broke the side of my head. Uh, my ribs got broken. I, I don't know. Uh, probably some more bones. I, I don't know. But at least my legs and my arms weren't broken, right? Um, so that's basically what happened on how I almost died. I was being stupid. I didn't go to the ambulance. And I do feel like those kids were out to kill me. I never, never, never did anything about it because you know, I was scared of what they would do to me. So I just lived through it. And I walked away. How did I walk away? I don't know. And how did I survive all the years of seizures without seeing a doctor? Because, you know, I recently saw a doctor, and he said my ribs are growing inside on top of my lungs. He said that my brain, um, there is there is uh, little issues with that. I, I prefer not to say um, due to, you know, just, just due to personal reasons why. Um, but, yeah, that's the story on how I almost died. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, post another video soon um, before I go though I do want to say this is why I'm a very big gun nut because I'm, I'm very big into self defense and self preservation of life because I feel like if situations were to occur that I could defend myself I don't like feeling like I have to fight for my life again and that scares me that I have to feel like that because I want to be able to help myself, help my family, and help uh, those people around me. And I don't want to feel like that the only thing I have is to protect myself is my hands. Because hands don't do nothing if you got 10 or 12 people on you. Hands don't do nothing if you got somebody with a gun. That's why I'm a gun nut. That's why I like guns. That's why I like making videos. I, I, I've, I've always, you know, thing is, after that happened, I realized how important self-defense is. And how much it matters because people don't need to go through stuff like that people need to be able to feel safe where they are feel safe when they're doing anything uh, you know nobody should feel afraid nobody should feel like they have nothing to defend themselves with people should be able to defend themselves like honestly that's that's just the reason why so please like and subscribe i'll see you on the next video thank you for hearing my story